to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com. Moe's Guitars is the proud sponsor of Girls Talk Rock. Over 35 years of helping girls and guys rock. Moe's Guitars, M O Z E, guitars.com. Welcome to Girls Talk Rock, where the musician's creativity finds its voice. And here are your hosts, Tracy Smith and Beth Venus. Hello, Beth. Hello. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. It's another episode of Girls Talk Rock. It's Wednesday. It's now, beautiful. Now, we have to say right off the bat that we were supposed to have a very special guest here today in Carol Kay. Oh, And yeah. for everyone listening, we, un- due to unforeseen circumstances, have to reschedule that show. Totally out of our with, hands. With, Be- with, with Beth. Well, I'm with here. Carol. With Carol. Carol. Carol's yeah. going to make that happen. And, uh, but, you know, she but. She is in uh, good standing and awesome, awesome person. And uh, we can't wait to, to get that chat. But, but we got the next best thing here because it's true. We brought somebody into the studio today that is going to amaze you <laughs> with her storied <laughs> career and her amazing fun stories of on tour. We're, we're talking like Bob Seger. We're talking so who, Alice Cooper. Oh my gosh. Alice hey, Cooper. You're in no for way. an e ride. <laughs> we're here today with our very own San Diego's very own Lori B. Lewis. I'm so excited. Lori to B. B. Lewis. <laughs> Very Welcome, excited. girl. She's Let's in the get house. The party started. And by the way, you know, as a constellation, I, my middle name is Catherine, and when I was a kid, I was Lori K. So like we're kind of, you know, Carol K, Lori K. We there we kinda, go. We will, we will roll know. with it because it works. It was I meant like to be. It. I like it, Lori K. <laughs> I have a long, stupid name, Lori B.B. Lewis. I could explain to you why I have such a long name, but um, I could have been just Lori Lewis. Right. And that's what I wanted to do. When I married my husband, it was Lori Lewis. I thought, what a cool name. Man, that rolls off your tongue until I found out that there's like this really famous uh, bluegrass yes. chick named Lori Lewis. And actually, I once confronted her. Did you say, <laughs> what's up with that? I know. And we were <laughs> saw her. We saw her. We were going to do a Lori Lewis and a Lori Lewis show. Um, but when back in the days when I um, was touring with the other groups that we'll talk about in a few minutes, um, my my other husband, my first husband, who was 25 years older than me, I was married to him for a very short time, and really we were we parted very good friends. But he was a famous Jim Beebe, uh, trombone player from um, the Dukes of Dixieland and a few uh, bands cool. like that. So Delicious. I um, I was Lori Beebe or the Beebs for a long time. The Beebs and oh, Beaver stole that from Biebs. you. Um, the Beebs, not the Beeve, the Beebs. No, I know it, but I'm just saying, yeah. he stole that. From and me. Howard Kalen and the Turtles and all those guys all called me the Beebs or Beebs. Um, so when I used to Google myself, which you know I'd look on online and I I wouldn't find anything about me, but if I put Lori Beebe in, I'd be like, oh my gosh, there's all this stuff on me I didn't know. <laughs> so I then I that. found a conundrum of do I go by Lori Beebe? But that's my ex-husband's name. What does my husband now think about that? Chuck says, well, you know, whatever you need to do. So I just went with Lori B.B. Lewis. And it's a mouthful. It's a mouthful. But I think, you know, it's, it's great to start the show talking about this because we are Girls Talk Rock. And Girls Talk Rock, we get to address some of these things. Guys, you, you don't got to deal with this stuff. <laughs> um, I, I just want to throw it out there. You know, uh, you take someone's last name uh, uh, to, to, to follow a you know, tradition, kind of some tradition, right. and that uh, yes. I did not. Uh, in, in, inevitably, I have kept my name uh, my entire life, but um, I allowed my husband to take my name as a middle name and to take his as a middle name yes. in there, and that's lost in space. But I'm uh, <laughs> wondering cool. if you use it, if you don't use it, if uh, you are separated, or even if uh, someone passes. Very true. If or what if I kept my it. maiden name because then I would be Lori Seaman. Oh, hold right there, S C A M A N. S C A M A N. Yes, but so, it was a rough name to deal with for many years. I bet, right? especially uh, being a female singer in kind of I a man's world. Couldn't wait to change my name. I, matter of fact, that's pretty much why I married Jim Beebe was not for any other reason but for his name. But just like, to get a name change. It. Oh my God, <laughs> these that, are all that's things that are part of your identity and part of who you are as an individual and as an artist. And I, yeah. and I, I want to really highlight that today in talking to Lori. Lori yes. K. Uh, because, you know, uh, we name. identified, 
you know, you're a session artist, you're a performing artist. Uh, we, we, we're going to talk touring, about some of the people you've artists. toured with. Yes. And we're going to take it right up today as a working artist doing some stuff here locally as well, as well as you're recording. And I think so. a lot of our artists uh, that are listening have a lot to learn about what you can do with your musical career. It doesn't have to be defined by That's one correct. thing. So, yeah, so Tracy, we wanted to get started. We're going to go back in time. Yeah, no, we want to take you back into the uh, time capsule. Time and capsule. And we want to put you at, say, about, I don't know, say eight to ten years old. Tell us what you were doing musically back then. Well, I was learning how to play different instruments, starting with violin. There you go. And oh. I wanted to play the violin so bad. And uh, so we had summer uh, summer school after sixth grade, and I went to this violin camp. And when I got there, all the violins were taken. Aww. So they said, well, there's this big, 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 giant violin over there. <laughs> so I ended up on the double bass. That's nice. how you call it a cello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so that's where I started uh, learning really the roots of music, uh, learning bass. And I Excellent. played in the orchestra as a child. My mother worked at Gridley Music Studio, which is a music store in right. Saginaw, Michigan. Awesome. Um, so we had Saginaw. access. My sister and I were in a band together called Pitch Blend, which, by the way, we were uh, kind of semi-famous. We had one little... You did a you did an album, yeah, with the we, Michigan yeah, we mixture. Saw, we yeah. Saw. Yeah. Yes, we did. That's a big deal, though. It's a, it would be a yeah. big deal now, and it was a big deal then totally. to get featured. How did that happen? Tell us, because that's when you first got a taste of some success, yeah? yeah. So how did that happen? Well, my mom was our momager. Um, I was playing guitar. <laughs> momager. Momager. That's what they... <laughs> we coined yeah. the phrase right here. No, <laughs> momager. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, so my my mother uh, was our manager. My sister played guitar. I was playing bass. And one day, my sister and I, we just decided to switch instruments. So my sister played bass and I played guitar. And uh, my first song, my per- first performance in sixth grade was singing the Green Beret on mm. stage for a PTA meeting. Wow. And wow. when I finished I- singing... My father stood up and gave me a standing ovation. No one else stood up, but my dad stood up in the front of the audience. And um, I was so embarrassed. (laughs) But what a great moment. But I mean, come on, your first standing ovation from your father. That's that's saying, I love you and you're so good. Okay. Yes. And that went on all through my life, all the way up until I was with the mamas and papas. My father still stood up. Well, and wow. you were playing. You were playing some keyboard then too. Yeah? Um, I played some keyboard. I, I learned on piano. My mother was a pianist. My grandmother played piano. So my grandfather um, played the banjo, the banjo uke, and um, so it was from the time I was a very young child. My mother had many parties with many people over. They would sing. She played the banjo. So I was brought up with a real mixture of music. Yeah. Uh, a lot of jazz. A lot of those old timey Dixielandy kind of music. Kind of folky. Yeah, and folky. So um, I, I was kind of stuck in between two things. Uh, pitch blend. We were doing this hard driving acid rock stuff. Oh, acid rock! Wow, that's a jump from now, folk. You know, but I love hearing acid this. Rock. Do you yes. think what we call acid rock and kind of that edgy stuff is different than what it was then, or is it kind of all in the same area? Like you know, when you hear it now. Do you think, wow, that's heavy? Or do you feel like, boy, it's all relative? You know, when you listen to that music from that era, like you listen to that Michigan Mixture yeah. album, and you actually listen to the music and the chord changes and the sounds, that they're so different. People try to recreate that today. You just can't recreate that. It's a feel. It really is a feel. Mm-hmm. And you can, you, can make, you can play Beatles songs and you can make songs sound Beatlesque. But to actually create that, uh, you know, only the Beatles could do that. Or yeah, that sentiment. There of was the moment, that yeah. moment uh, in time. So between um, listening to Janis Joplin and all of those great bands back then, Jefferson Airplane, and love it, love it, loved all those guys. Um, I would sit home and listen to Della Reese yeah. and Lena Horne. Uh, so I, I was stuck in two worlds. I loved the jazz and I loved the rock. So it was really hard. So I would be playing in this rock band with my sister, and we were traveling around doing all this stuff. But then when I had other moments, I'd be singing with these pe- guys with the piano and s- singing yeah. all the jazz standards and Latin standards. And 
And the stuff that my friends were like, are you kidding me? You're singing Karen Carpenter close to you. Really? Oh, I love you know? it. Well, no, but but, but what, where was your heart, though? I mean, what, what did you actually want to play and want to be singing? Did you want well, to go be the harder person or did you want to be the jazzy person? I wanted to be all of it. And that's okay, yeah. that's the issue it's that perfect, I have perfect. actually dealt with today. To, to this day, I still can't identify. If, if you were to say, what kind of an artist are you? It, you know, because I it's love jazz, to, I love rock, I love it all. I, I sing with Ronnie Lee and her band. Yep, totally. And I'm rocking out, and then, you know, then I'm down at Khan's Cave with a piano player, and I'm doing jazz and pop, and then I'm with uh, my friend Gene Warren, and we're playing, uh, you know, classic rock and folk. It's interesting folk. you talk about that, That's though, awesome. because, I mean, and we're getting near the end of our first quarter already, <laughs> but... I want to talk about this more in the second segment. Uh, your mom was teaching you piano or you were learning guitar and piano and stuff. Uh, and I want to talk about, like, the core of that. Were you, like, begrudgingly brought into the academia of it? Were you, like, happy to play chords but not really, like, play, you know, a sonata or something? And, uh, you know, the application of a lot of classical music to jazz is, like, so spot on. And I know I sound like a boring piano teacher, everyone, but it's true. <laughs> not really. Um you know, just the, the same structure, a lot of similar structure. Yeah. And so I wonder if that's where you got some of your love for I, jazz. I think, I, I think possibly that's it. Um, now my friend Ronnie always jokes with me because she says I have a busy mind. As a child, I was ADHD, but they didn't have a name for it then. All I knew was that I had my own desk in the hallway of my elementary school, not knowing why, <laughs> because I just had so much flying in my oh, head. That was constantly. me. That was me being a yeah. creative kid. And, and later on in, in my adult life, 10 years ago, uh, you know, when I was going through some therapy with some problems and some depression, um, I, you know, I definitely am like, you know, he said, oh, you scored a 30 out of 30. Oh, you know, what, is that my IQ? No, you are totally ADHD. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. So I have that love of all music and played many instruments at that time. All right, hold that thought. We're going to come back because I was the same kind of kid. So we're going to talk more about that because when you're very creative, you are kind of on the ADHD side. And people don't understand that it's just creativity and your brain can't shut down. So we will be back in three minutes. Thank you, Moe's Guitars, our sponsor. We'll be right back. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. Thank you for listening to WS Radio. Improve your business and your life with useful information from experts and thought leaders. WS Radio is radio with ROI. You may have heard me brag about Progressive Medical Center and just how much they've helped me with my health. And Dr. Goley, one thing that you've helped so many people with is migraines. Unfortunately, there are millions and millions of Americans who are suffering with migraines and headaches, and they're debilitating because it affects the quality of their life, and they cannot function properly. At Progressive, we get the root cause because we understand that migraines could be caused by nutritional deficiencies, hormonal imbalances, believe it or not, delayed food sensitivities. And once we determine what the real reason is, we put a plan of action together with medication that we get them off slowly and we put them on an all-natural approach and the results are amazing. Incredible. I mean, there's so many people that can say they don't live their lives with migraines anymore thanks to Progressive Medical Center. And that's what's exciting and rewarding to us as physicians because we help our patients take control of their health and that's why they're living well. Why don't you get a hold of Progressive Medical Center today? Don't live in pain. Don't have migraines anymore. Just go to their website, ProgressiveMedicalCenter.com. This is your life. Live it well. Hey guys, CS Keys here to introduce you to San Diego's number one health meal prep provider, Fresh and Fit Meals. With over 40 menu items to choose from, several pickup locations all over America's finest city, made and delivered fresh, never frozen. Save on time and money. Super convenient and improves the quality of your life. Just visit the website, freshandfitmeals.com, for all the menus and the pricing. Or give them a call at 858 805 5949 for more details. Remember, you are what you eat, so you might as well be fresh and fit with Fresh and Fit Meals. Hey, it's Catherine from Listen Local Radio. Moe's Guitars has proudly served the San Diego music community since 1975. 
Specializing in guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, and ukuleles, they buy, sell, trade, and consign. If you're looking for lessons, repairs, accessories, and cool gear, you found the right place. Located in downtown La Mesa Village, stop by and check out their digs or visit mosguitars.com or their Facebook page. M-O-Z-E guitars.com. 619-698-1185. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, VinVillage.com, where wine lovers connect. Be sure to tune in weekly to Vin Village Radio for exclusive, in-depth interviews with the who's who in wine and food. Talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com Moe's Guitars is the proud sponsor of Girls Talk Rock. Over 35 years of helping girls and guys rock. Moe's Guitars, M-O-Z-E, guitars.com. Welcome to Girls Talk Rock, where the musician's creativity finds its voice. And here are your hosts, Tracy Smith and Beth Venus. Hello, 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 hello. You're back with Girls Talk Rock, we're and we're so happy to be sharing this afternoon with you with Lori B. Lewis. We're well, so we're excited. gonna go directly okay. into a song here as soon as Tino gets it queued up, and we're gonna let you listen to it. Let's go. See if you recognize this. today, as you all know, is Lori Bibby Lewis, and we are talking to her today, and that was the version of the Mamas and Papas that she was, of course, involved in that band, and we're going to let her tell mm-hmm. us all about From that. 86 to 1993, you were working with the Mamas and the Papas. Yes, yes. Oh, and we've got Julia on the phone, too, so we'll bring Julia in here in a second yeah, after she's done talking Yeah, Jules, to hang on there, girlfriend. Yeah, hang on, Jules. I know, she's got a lot to say. Okay, so... Um, I joined the Mamas and Papas in 1986, and and uh, John Phillips had called me, and he said, and you know the Phillips family is kind of a funny family. They're very open about everything that's going on. John calls me, he says, "Hi, this is John Phillips. Do you remember me?" Um, I had met him when I was with the Buckinghams. They right. had guest artist with us, and that was with Mackenzie Phillips, Spanky McFarlane, John, and Denny, the two original papas. John says, well, my daughter's in rehab right now. She's seven months pregnant and needs to dry out so she can have her baby. So we need someone to fill in for her. It was just like that. Wow, interesting. So I said, sure, no problem. I just would love to sing with the mamas and papas. I said, what parts? Uh, He goes, just go out and buy some. This is back in 1986. Go get some mamas and papas cassettes. (laughs) (laughs) Come on, track. 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 I'm not doubting ourselves. And and learn and and learn all the parts. And I said, okay, which part would you like me to do, Michelle? Or you know, I I was just trying to figure out what part to sing. He goes, just learn them all. I said, okay, sure, I'll be happy to. So there went on my adventure on the Mamas and Papas. Went to Vegas for about three weeks where we practiced along with Mackenzie was with us. And uh, then on November 5th, which is my birthday, right. we hopped on a plane and flew to uh, to London, England. My first time in Europe. And it was so exciting. Um, and uh, I got there. We were hit by a thousand paparazzi and pictures and all of this stuff. It was crazy. And I remember at the end of the night at 10 o'clock, I lay down in my bed just exhausted and the phone rang and John Phillips called me. He said, you did a good job, kid. I said, thank you. And he goes, by the way, happy birthday. And I was like, 
oh, I had totally <laughs> forgotten it was my birthday. It was so wow. I mean, this awesome. like superseded my birthday. But the recording itself that you just heard, if you're a Mamas and Papas fan, you'll hear that it's a little bit different than the original because um, when we went to Europe to uh, be on a uh, television program to receive the RSH Award in Germany, which is like a Grammy Award there. That's awesome. And um, he didn't want us to lip sync on TV to Michelle and... To the other artists. Yeah, yeah and to Michelle and Cass. So Spanky and uh, myself and John and Danny, we went into the studio and we recorded this version of Mamas and Papas, which sounds so much like the original record it's so in delicious. so many ways. But it's some awesome. Thing. Well, no, it's, it's totally also awesome. interesting to me because this kind of music, especially from the Mamas and Papas, it comes from like... It's that Beach Boys, Mamas and Papas era. Yes. That's very choral. And the style of singing is very clean and choral. Yes. And yes. it doesn't have what I to say a lot of young people are used to now. You know, the, the chordals. So <laughs> it, it is. It's so busy. <laughs> Um, and I really, I, I particularly enjoy it. I know our listeners I like do. it smooth like but that. But that is a really distinctive way of singing because you're doing it with a group of people who have to start and finish on the same vowel sounds and the same yeah. consonants at the same time. Mm-hmm. Was that a tough connection when you guys got in the studio and finally recorded that? To- um, at that point, I felt we were really tight with what we were doing. Yeah. But I had just left a big rock band, like a mm-hmm. hard rock band. So to transition from that to that kind of choral singing and doing that for seven years. <laughs> when I went back to singing rock, I had to learn how to sing all over again because I was so used to singing this kind of folky oh. rock stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. So, uh, but I love doing every minute of it. There's not a song I, I hated ble- being with the Mamas and Papas. And it was beautiful. one of the most amazing journeys I ever took. And of course, I made some great friends. Spanky McFarland, of course, is a beautiful woman. I love her so much. And uh, Mackenzie Phillips. Oh, amazing, amazing, great history. Well, in 1985, you were the only female artist that was brought together to do a particular showcase. And this was, were you playing with the Buckinghams for this showcase? Yes, yes. With the Turtles and Gary Lewis and the Playboys and the Grassroots. Yeah. Tell us about uh, that project uh, called A Matter of Time. Oh, okay. Well, before, um, yeah, we recorded the album A Matter of Time. And at the same time, we were being uh, invited enticed to be on the 1985 Happy Together Tour, which is still touring this day. The Turtles are still hosting that tour. And this was the second of the tours. The first tour before that was 84. My husband had been on that tour. And I'd never met Chuck at at that point. So um, The Matter of Time was a really great project. We wrote some songs together. We recorded on Red Label Records. It was um, really a labor of love. Nick and Carl, the two uh, original Buckingham uh, members, um, put together this very, very good band. They uh, had decided to add a female, which they had never done before. And um, we had John Camelot on keyboards, but I added some extra keyboards because that was a very horn oriented band. You yeah. know, they had a lot of that stuff going on. So between pianos and horns and all these sounds, um, having two keyboard players was a great uh you know, advantage to it. So I got to play some of the horn parts while John carried all the heavy piano organ stuff. And so the band was absolutely really kick butt band. It was a great group. So right on. We uh, we released the album the same time the Happy Together tour started. Which, by the way, I was the only female That's artist on that tour. Me, we read that, That's and thirty six guys. Well, and of and course, so how you know, you feel well, about yeah, that? yeah. What, like, what was it like being that woman? But that, in that you man's have to be world? singled out not as a musician but as a woman. Yeah, like yeah. we're gonna bring you on because you have a uterus and we need somebody. <laughs> I don't think that was I, why. I mean, <laughs> I mean I, you know, the Buckinghams. That's What's not up with that. Why only one out of thirty six? Well, you know, I'm there actually saying. was a, a woman on the on the tour who was a lighting director jenny singer was her name and she was an, another woman on the tour that came in a little bit later and i got to be very good friends with her and um uh but being the only female on a tour i mean it wasn't like oh we need a girl on the on the show let's get a girl because the happy okay, together good, tour good. doesn't really work that way right now uh spanky was the first one to do the happy together tour in 84 i'm the second woman and the third woman to do the happy together tour is uh susan Cousel. Which, you know, they brought her on last year and they're going to be doing her again. And She's just yeah. a lovely lady. And so th- so it's not really so much about, uh, you know, having a girl. But if you look back just on that time, who were the big stars making it? And, you know, that particular kind, it was men. 
And I mean, it is still a man's world. Totally. I mean, you know that. And I'm not going to knock man. I mean, I, I have my big, if you ask me who were my biggest, uh, you know, people that influenced me in music, it's it's not women, really. I was influenced yeah. by people like Dick Wagner, who you don't even, probably don't even remember who he is, but he wrote Only Women Bleed and wrote all these songs for Alice Cooper and a lot of I different people. Song. He's an amazing songwriter, and he was my mentor growing up. Yeah. He came from my hometown. And uh, Donnie Hartman, who was in the Dick Wagner and the Frost, and that guy could sing the blues like nobody. Yeah. And that was, those were my big mentors so well and that brings up something you were doing well julia's the on end. the phone do we want to just <gasps> oh, julia maybe we should bring her in because we had a minute all right left julia here we and... got one minute what do you want to say girl hey, hey. girl <laughs> hey I julia why to give our listeners Wait, a peek yeah. julia plays listen, no? well we want to let all our listeners hey. know Ju- julia whippleton's on she's a bass player julia uh, Wilson is a bass and... player okay go julia what do you want to say girl <laughs> i just want to say i love playing with Lori. she's really <laughs> nice and I can't wait to rock the summer tour. I know. That's right. We it's heard about the hair fling tour. In the Midwest. Yes. Julia uh, is an awesome, awesome bass player. By the way, Julia, I need you to come over to my house this week and uh, lay a bla- <laughs> bass track down for me. Since Carol Kay couldn't make it, I was going to oh, have no, her play bass for me. No, I'm kidding. It? I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but I need you to lay a bass track down thing, for me Julia, uh, this week. Thing. So let me know, babe, because <laughs> you're on this next song I'm doing. Yeah, Julia, you're the next best thing to yeah. Carol Kay laying down bass lines. So we just want you to know that. Well, and this is <laughs> interesting because you guys are going on tour. Yeah. All right, so we're going to talk back to Lori now. Julia Whippleton here. Wil- Wel- Welton, Welton. I'm sorry. Wilson, Lori B. We, we like to just like say Welton. Julia W. Let's leave yeah, it there. Yeah, we'll good, yeah. And then we've got Ronnie Lee and yeah. we've got you, <laughs> yes. Miss, in the band. What is that project called? Let's tell yeah, us what's okay. what that This is going is to be the Ronnie Lee, Lori B.B. Lewis, Fling Your Hair 2016 tour. I got, okay, so I get that T-shirt first. That's right. We I get the first T-shirt here on Girls yes. Talk Rock. Yes. Keep calm and fling your hair. Fling your hair. I'm going to be talking about that. Well, no, also. you know what? I, I want a T-shirt that says "Don't touch my knobs" and then have the Ronnie Lee signature underneath that because that's Don't touch that's, my knobs. That's our signature. Well, it was like an amplifier, now. you know? Yes, but yeah, exactly. I think that's a great. Yeah, exactly. That's the shirt I want. <laughs> we're closing out with only eight seconds left. We'd like. Yeah, to, we're, we're going to be ready right to go. back. So, but when we come back, we're going to go more into uh, Lori's touring. Oh, and Jules, and don't forget, Jules is from Daddy Issues. Of Woohoo! Course. Love you, Jules. We're going to talk about uh, recording some heart songs. We're going to talk about your time with Mr. Puckett. And then we're also going to get break into the new millennium here. So uh, stick around with us, Moe's. I might even make a comment about the grassroots and my husband touring as them. Oh, my God, Oh, we'll be right back. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. On the internet, your business's reputation can be unjustly destroyed in an instant. Don't wait for that to happen. Building and marketing your five-star reputation can increase your business by as much as 19%. Take control of your reputation and have the five-star reputation you deserve with Reputation Marketing Solutions by DSI Development. Become the go-to company by visiting 5starrepmarketing.com. The number 5, star, rep, marketing.com. Hey, it's Catherine from Listen Local Radio. Moe's Guitars has proudly served the San Diego music community since 1975. Specializing in guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, and ukuleles, they buy, sell, trade, and consign. If you're looking for lessons, repairs, accessories, and cool gear, you've found the right place. Located in downtown La Mesa Village, stop by and check out their digs or visit moesguitars.com or their Facebook page. M-O-Z-E guitars.com. 619-698-1185.
You've heard me bragging about Progressive Medical Center and how they've helped me feel so much healthier. But one thing, Dr. Agoli, that a lot of people come to you with is just unexplained pain. They just can't get any relief. Why can Progressive Medical Center's Pain Management Center help them? First of all, we have to acknowledge that pain is for real and you've got acute pain and chronic pain. Here's the problem. That acute pain turns to chronic, which is longstanding, and no one's getting to the root cause. There's several key diagnostic components that help us get to the root of what's causing this pain. Is it inflammation? Once we do a thorough evaluation to get the root cause determined if it's structural or if it's a metabolic issue. And this way, we put an individualized program for pain management involving correcting the spine, using certain injections when necessary, and we get our patients out of pain quicker and they stay out of pain because we teach them how to live their life well. Don't let yourself live in pain any longer. Get a hold of Progressive Medical Center today at ProgressiveMedicalCenter.com. Progressive Medical, this is your life, live it well. Hey guys, CS Keys here to introduce you to San Diego's number one health meal prep provider, Fresh and Fit Meals, with over 40 menu items to choose from. Several pickup locations all over America's finest city. Made and delivered fresh, never frozen. Save on time and money. Super convenient and improves the quality of your life. Just visit the website, freshandfitmeals.com, for all the menus and the pricing. Or give them a call at 858 805 5949 for more details. Remember, you are what you eat, so you might as well be fresh and fit with Fresh and Fit Meals. Talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com Moe's Guitars is the proud sponsor of Girls Talk Rock. Over 35 years of helping girls and guys rock. Moe's Guitars, M-O-Z-E, guitars.com Welcome to Girls Talk Rock, where the musician's creativity finds its voice. And here are your hosts, Tracy Smith and Beth Venus. Okay, we are back. That you're listening to is Lori Bebby Lewis. Bebby? Bebby? Bebby. Why do we want to say Bebby? I don't know why. I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're in here. We're talking to her in the studio. It is. It's, oh, that's right. Bebby's the clothing line. Bebby. No. Bebby. <laughs> <laughs> now you're really confusing me, Lori. Whatever. We're, we're just going to say Lori Lewis. Lori. <laughs> we'll call her LL. Bebby Lewis. Lori. <laughs> All right, Lori. Lewis. Why don't you tell us about what you were doing during that time and when that song was being recorded? Uh, got to oh there we go hi okay um that's actually um a cut from my new album which um actually hasn't been mastered or anything yet. i'm just kind of like working with it so you heard it here first is that an you, exclusive on girls much, talk rock yeah this is exclusive oh my god we love exclusives yeah, on um, girls talk rock i'm i'm putting together a spiritual album uh that is just uh just drenched in all kinds of great music and this song wayfaring stranger was written in 1937 by john die wow. and it's an old uh, as they call them quote negro spirituals but it's a great song that's been sung by a lot of people and um, again, this shows you my confusion of who I am as an artist <laughs> because That's it's delicious. very jazzy and, uh, you know, kind of 
Kind of put a little rock into it. Well, uh, that opens great the door line, for it. Does have a great baseline? Totally which, love base. So you smooth. know, we ask artists this all the time, and great. we're always curious: what is it you do to package and market that product, or are you having your agents and your people, your people, uh, do to produce that to send that out somewhere? Because we know that that if you want that listened to somewhere, you have to say, "Well, heck, what Pandora station would you be on, or what artist would you be yeah, on? Who would you come before? Would and after? you be on before or after?" Um, and music is coming out more and more like that's a very American sound or that's a very jazz sound or very pop jazz sound. Or 30s or uh, whatever, yeah. Wh- where, where are you try, uh, branding that style as music? For, it's a good to, question to because, um, you know, a long time ago when I came out with a, a, a gospel album back in the uh, early 90s and uh, Gar- I gave it to Gary Puckett and he said, boy, Lori, there's a lot of great songs on here, but it's very eclectic. Very eclectic. You need to decide, you know, like what genre you're in. <laughs> oh, there but you go. today, if you listen to people's albums today, it, everybody is eclectic. And I, I love the fact that that has finally come around because I am so eclectic in my music. If the next song that you may hear, the next bumper music is a real heavy dude. It's another gospel song. It's a 19, I mean, it's a 1700, um, in the year 1700, hymn that um, I turned into a very hard rock song. So, that is cool. Baroque has gone cool. bad. I oh, like it. Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus. I yeah. actually like that. I, uh, I love that, doing that. Yeah. So, but as far as marketing goes, you know, um, you know, it comes down to really being able to reach the people like, like you start off kind of, uh, you know, you want to think globally. And I get it out there on iTunes and all of these different places where I can just, you know, play it. I, I give some free streaming stuff for people. Yeah. Um, I throw it out there on Facebook. I throw it out there on all of my social media places, which, by the way, I'm um, on Twitter. If you're a tweeter, um, at Lori's Music. Nice. There and, you go. Uh, yeah. Hey, I just did a commercial. Good. And, um, you know, the producer that I'm, I'm working with and hopefully will uh, be finishing up some of the stuff, you know, he's got licensing. He's got ways to kind of get things into a bullet on these different charts and in these different places. But a lot of the marketing I do on my own. Well, give you're, us a shout out to who, who he is that, that you're working with. Oh, well, I'm actually working with a couple of different producers. Um, one guy I'm working with is Dave Jenkins, and um, I'll be working with Warren Hewitt as there well. Go, Warren. Well, that brings us to the, the next real step. So right now, you know, we're, I'm proud to say you're a San Diego, and we're going to keep you. We're going to take totally. that claim. Totally. We're keeping her here. Uh, I'm, I'm a... a not a born San Diegan, but I call myself a San Diegan. Well, I'm not either. I'm from Michigan. Remember I'm from that. Long Island, New York. Long Island. Uh, <laughs> but I, it also brings down the issue of playing live. Yes. And for an album like that, and we just got a good listen, um, it's, a, it's a produced beautifully, and it's got a, a lot of musicians yeah. on that. So when you go play that live, are you going with a trio or a quattro, or are you doing something simplified, or are you going big or going home on that? On that's that the one thing that's really nice about all my music is, um, like, when I'm doing a duo, I can just have my pianist kind of jazz it out and I play it. I also use a vocal processor. I use a TC Helicon, and it's a harmonizer as well. So I do uh, a lot of vocal tricks with it and have fun with it, and I use it in my voice as an instrument, so I'm able to add a lot of things on that. Um, but this fall, I'll be doing a concert um, in La Mesa, uh, Lori, B.B. Lewis and friends. <laughs> yes. Nice. And um, I'm going to be having a full band with a lot of people and some guests. So I'm probably going to pull Ronnie Lee on this. She doesn't know it yet, but I will. Uh, I'll have several listening. guitar players and Bobby Simmons will be playing the congas and I'll have a drummer and I'll have a couple of keyboard players and yeah. I'll have a lot of stuff going on. So, um, Tell you know. Tell us about that. La Mesa, is this one of the amphitheaters? This, no, this, this a... will be at, um, actually, it'll be at my home church, Windsor Hills Community Church. Nice. And um, they've got a really nice stage. An amphitheater, they really I'm do. Sure. And uh, it's just set yeah. up very nicely. It's just very actually it's a little small chapel. It's not that big and they used to have pews and all that and we got rid of the pews and put in some nice chairs and kind of made it an all purpose room so we can set it up however we want. And That's amazing. It's going to be a great show. And uh, you know, it'll be a Saturday night evening show and it, and it's not going to be all gospel. It'll be all kinds of music. Good mix. That's stuff people You can know, enjoy. I mean, um you know, I am a Christian, and I will say that. You know, I have no 
qualms of saying that I'm a Christian person. But, you know, I'm not a Christian artist. I don't consider myself an artist out there, you know, playing all the churches and hitting the church circuit. I'm an artist who happens to be a Christian, just like a lawyer could be a Christian or right. a radio correct. announcer That's could right. be a Christian. Just secular or, music. Yeah, you know, so I play both kinds, and I really I really like it a lot, you know. And I feel like, you know, I have a lot of my Christian friends who are playing Christian music to Christian people, and um, I just, um, I don't feel like I really need to play to Christian people. I mean, get it out I'm, to the masses, right? I'm preaching to the, you know, I don't need to preach to You're the choir. You're preaching to humanity. Uh, yeah. yeah exactly. that's, I and think, it's really, it's a really all about love. And that's it for me. Perfect, you know, I'm not it. sitting well there said. going off and just trying to tell everybody that, you know, you're doomed or whatever <laughs> if you don't do this or if you don't do that. For me, it's just about just spreading really lots of love. So being a positive person, doing yes. the right thing every day exactly. and spreading love. That's what we're all about, right, Beth? That's yes, it awesome. transcends into everything you it do. Does. It really does. Yeah. I totally agree with you on that. You so know. We're, I'm kind of like glad we touched on that. Cause, we uh, went to church for a minute here. Oh, Amen. Church for right a here. I, you've heard it. I, girls <laughs> talk rock. That's rock right. talk. <laughs> See, I'm getting the, this The church up. of we girls are. talk rock. That's oh, it. Here we go. Amen, sister. I, what I want to know is we, when we were re- uh, researching you a little bit, we noticed that um, now when... Uh, the um, let's see the after you did the made the album we talked about earlier for the Buckingham uh, Buckingham mm-hmm. you did some work with uh, Mr. Puckett yes and in was that Gary Puckett in the Union Gap or was he not called that at the time well Gary went on his own just as Gary Puckett, Gary Puckett. okay okay yeah. that's what we thought mm-hmm. and you did a duet with him uh, from the Heart song as we know it as Heart from yes. the Wilsons uh, alone. Now, wow, to do that as a song alone in itself is a big deal. Uh, How did you decide to make your arrangement yours on that? Oh, my gosh. You know, Gary uh, called me up and said, I'm doing an album in Palm Springs. And it was like a first album he had recorded a lot, you know, at that time. He had a few little things here and there. And so... um, he had a guy produce this uh, album, and he was doing a lot of love songs. It was actually it was called originally "Is This Love." Uh, so um, went to Palm Springs, and we sat in the studio. We spent an, uh, like a week there doing vocals. We did "I Want to Know What Love Is." We did oh, I love all that. these things, and I went there just to sing some backgrounds. Right, right, right. And it was really fun. But then we got to a couple of songs like "I Want to Know What Love," "I Want um, Heart," the Heart song alone, and right. suddenly. Gary just decides that he wants to make this into like a duet in some parts. That's cool. And, uh, and it was like, really? I mean, I was just like shocked. And as much as I loved Heart, um, it was not a song that was in my main stable of, sure. you know, music. So, um, you know, I just kind of took from memory the things that I remember doing. And we ended up uh, singing uh, that song. And of course, the album I thought was fantastic. But then something happened with the record company, and they ended up kind of farming the songs out, and uh, it was really big in Europe. It did nice. really great in Europe yeah. and Canada. But I'm not exactly sure what happened to all the songs, but Gary ended up one by one taking those songs and releasing them on other albums. So it's kind of like if you look up Gary Puckett, anytime where you see Alone, that's me singing with him on that song. Wow, that's cool. That could be found on Timepiece and This Is Love. We're going to be going into the next quarter here. Stay with us. We're here with Lori B.B. Lewis. And I do want to we ask are Girls about, Talk Rock. You know, Gary Lewis and the Playboys, because I'm thinking that might be where her last name is. Damn. We'll have to talk to her in the fourth quarter about that. Uh, thank you most to our studio at CCMA, Silver Tiger Production. We'll be right back. Hey, it's Catherine from Listen Local Radio. Moe's Guitars has proudly served the San Diego music community since 1975. Specializing in guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, and ukuleles, they buy, sell, trade, and consign. If you're looking for lessons, repairs, accessories, and cool gear, you found the right place. Located in downtown La Mesa Village, stop by and check out their digs or visit mosguitars.com or their Facebook page, mozeguitars.com, 619-698-1185. Has your business been amplified? Are you tired of doing marketing that doesn't deliver results? Mobile apps build loyalty and quality retention. Your app from UPG Mobile puts your business on their mind and at their fingertips. UPG Mobile will give you a custom app highlighting how you are unique, targeting your message, and improving your open rates. Appify your business and amplify your presence with your customers at upgmobilemarketinggroup.com. 
Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. I raised $8,000 to build schools for South African children. After realizing how many people go hungry in San Diego, I now volunteer at a food pantry. I'm spending the next year doing volunteer projects across three countries and helping in ways they designate to be the most helpful. The World Link program at the Joan B. Kroc Institute for Peace and Justice recognizes the potential of youth as agents of social change. Learn how you can help youth become a generation of leaders in action at peace.sandiego.edu. You've heard me bragging about Progressive Medical Center and how they've helped me feel so much healthier. But one thing, Dr. Agoli, that a lot of people come to you with is just unexplained pain. They just can't get any relief. Why can Progressive Medical Center's Pain Management Center help them? First of all, we have to acknowledge that pain is for real and you've got acute pain and chronic pain. Here's the problem. That acute pain turns to chronic, which is longstanding, and no one's getting to the root cause. There's several key diagnostic components that help us get to the root of what's causing this pain. Is it inflammation? Once we do a thorough evaluation to get the root cause determined if it's structural or if it's a metabolic issue. And this way, we put an individualized program for pain management involving correcting the spine, using certain injections when necessary, and we get our patients out of pain quicker and they stay out of pain because we teach them how to live their life well. Don't let yourself live in pain any longer. Get a hold of Progressive Medical Center today at ProgressiveMedicalCenter.com. Progressive Medical, this is your life, live it well. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. WSRadio.com Moe's Guitars is the proud sponsor of Girls Talk Rock. Over 35 years of helping girls and guys rock. Moe's Guitars, M-O-Z-E, guitars.com. Welcome to Girls Talk Rock, where the musician's creativity finds its voice. And here are your hosts, Tracy Smith and Beth Venus. back with Lori B.B. Lewis. Did I say it right? You finally did. I finally said it right in the fourth quarter. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, we, wanted, we want Lori jobs. to talk about the players on that song because she's going to tell us a little bit about 17th century song, you said? Yeah, that's a 17th century hymn called When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. And uh, I took it and I put it in a minor key and I rocked it out. I wrote a... Uh, um, a chorus for it. I had Alicia Previn, the great Alicia Previn violinist on there. Her father is Henri Previn. Bobby uh, Simmons playing the... No, he's not on this one. Um, and uh, let's see. Oh, gosh. Roger Bacchial on the keyboards and 
um, I had a lot of great vocalists come in. And it was just a really labor of love. I've been doing this album for so long, just out of my little home studio. It's been That's so great. much work. And again, like I said, um, you know, I want to take some of this music to a different level because I just feel like it needs to identify with people who want to hear rock and rock out, you know, and, and, and enjoy it. I heard a little harmonic in there, too. I did. Uh, and I, I was wondering, like, how did some the artists you were working with, were they, like, cool with that? You're like, we're going to do some 17th century Baroque and we're going to take it. We're going to rock it on the We're going to take the 7th and the 3rd down a half step and we're going to have some fun with it. Were they like, oh. Well, okay. they came in and they were just like, this song sounds familiar. What song is that? <laughs> and then when I told them it was when I surveyed the Wondrous Cross, they're like, whoa, that doesn't sound like that, you know? And then it was like, wow, that's cool, you know? Very delicious. Just, no, yeah, I love you. it. I, I totally would buy that. You've got to tell us where to get it. Well, um, when I get my album finished. <laughs> okay. But it'll be on iTunes, of course, soon, and uh, all of that. I'm, I'm actually getting ready to release some stuff right away because I really need to get some stuff out there. It's been way too long that Lori B. B. Lewis said, has it. not been doing what she's supposed to do. Open and, up the uh, gates of music and release it. Exactly, exactly. Well, and it's been hard. It's hard. You know, um, I, you know I'm going to do a shameless plug here. I've had a GoFundMe thing going on forever. GoFundMe.com slash Lori's Music. And uh, trying to raise money for this thing because it, it does cost a lot of money. And I don't have a record company. My record company is you guys you know the people, the people you know that's the one thing that's really nice about these uh crowdfunding but crowdfunding is kind of going away right now i don't think it's a real popular thing so well, i think people are just getting like bombarded with so many of them that they're like oh okay whatever right exactly yeah. exactly yeah. so you know what i really need to do is find an investor that's just got about five grand this is Lori. you're just so great i just want to give you five grand so if you're out there <laughs> Yeah, well, I want to hook you up first. with some people because, you know, we're big believers. And we also, I know that once we get you out there live, uh, for, if you're new to Lori B.B. Lewis, I highly recommend you guys do get on the computer and check her out. Listen totally. to her sounds. This is an artist you want to listen to, learn to, and maybe if you're really lucky, you get to play with. Um, and play Because you're going to play with yeah. me sometime. <laughs> you and I are going to yeah, jam we're, together. We're, we're hooking it up. We're, we're hooking, hooking up, up all right the jams now. here. But we are, you know, it's one of those things where you have uh, a, a legacy of music just even here at this midpoint in our lives. We can really share like, wow, there's so much you're going towards uh, with your music. And that brings us up to really right now, like we we're talking about you playing with Miss Julia, who is just on the phone, the wonderful little blondie bass player there rocking the world <laughs> out. And, uh, and of course, Miss Ronnie Lee, one of our Ronnie favorite Lee. people here yep. at the station. Uh, we are always thrilled to have women in the room but powerful women who are ready to move forward with their music totally so you guys do the sh i'm not gonna say it's flick your hair it's fling fling your hair. your hair okay i want everybody who wants that when is that to please Tell take an order okay well this uh tour is starting on uh july 22nd starting in las vegas Ooh, yummy. and we are working our way across the country i have dates here and places but we're going to uh end up uh, going over like, you know, Montgomery, not Alabama, but the other Montgomery, Montgomery, Missouri. And yeah. um, we will be uh, in Saginaw, Michigan, my hometown, my hometown. Yeah. White's Bar on August 5th. And then um, the 6th of August will be at BMO's in Bay City. And then we have a little space still because we're still trying to fill in some of those dates. Then down to Kansas help. City, then Des Moines, Iowa, Omaha, Nebraska, Lincoln, Wichita. And then as we work our way back, we'll probably hit some of those places that uh, you hit on the south bound trail like maybe austin and now is this tour going to be a combination of your original songs yes. that you guys as well as some arranged covers that you're all fond of and and can do in your own uh, style well if you've seen the ronnie lee show and the ronnie lee group you know she has an amazing r array of music that she plays as well as uh, ronnie and i have written songs together which has been great. Which is super cool. And Ronnie pulls me in on some of her shows just because she lets me play with her. <laughs> Seriously, I love Ronnie so yeah, much. Oh, she's cool. And she's so much fun. And she uh, throws me a couple of bones to sing a few songs, but really it is her show. But on this one, when we get to Michigan, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, when we no. get to Michigan, we're going to, um, I'll be able to, um, you know, shine on some of my songs. Julie's going to learn some of my tunes. We're practicing that stuff. Uh, I, um, I'm going to be recording California Dreamin'. Very lovely. A rock version, of course. That's cool. Now, I will have to. I will say that if you need some fill-in dates, you'll have to let Silver Tiger Production know. 
Because that's kind of what we do, isn't it, Beth? It is. Silvertown has been doing we, all we kinds kinda of We kind of do stuff. that. Well, we do want to ask you our quattro questions. Okay, the quattro, quattro questions. Before we get to close out. The dreaded said, quattro the, questions. They're not dreaded. They're They're awesome. wonderful because they are so telling. So you're the queen diva of the universe. <laughs> Well, we had a band called the Queen Divas of the Universe, so go ahead. But you are the woman, <laughs> and we want to ask you, what is your first command to your people? What is the number one rule? You know, some people live by Ten Commandments. Some people have uh, just a labor of law. What is your number one commandment as Queen Diva of the Universe? Love each other. Please love yeah. each other. Breathe. Take a deep breath and hold on to the people you love and love. And there's just uh, haters Mm-mm. 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 Unconditional Just stuff. Just unconditional is going love. On. Well, uh, go ahead. Okay. Well, I want to know: chocolate or cotton candy or Reese's? Chocolate, 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 chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. See, Beth is a chocolate girl, so she wrote that question. Oh, I did. I admit it. You know. <laughs> I think I had this question the last time I was here. Wait a minute, Beth. What's well, up I with need that? To know, really? because I have stashes everywhere, and you know that way I know what to stash for you next time we have That's you. That's true. Lily's no sugar-free chocolate, because I try to go sugar-free. Oh, you're so good. It's oh, really good. good. Try it. Is it? I will try it. My mother calls sugar white death. Yeah. Uh, Look, Whole Foods. I, it's sweetened with stev- uh, stevia. Yeah, it's called stevia. Lily's. It's Lily's. Lily's. And if you get it See, at... my niece is Lily. She's, okay. she's been, she's then you'll remember that. This week. You can get it at Whole Paycheck. I mean, Whole, whole Foods. <laughs> I love it. With your Whole Paycheck. There you go. All right. All right. So, let, yeah, let's ask the next question. Well, oh. Oh, oh my God. Hurry. Well, come on. Hurry. 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 All right. What, we're we're going to put it online. We're going to put it online. Lori, Lori okay. or what? Okay. So, Lori's Music.com. It's, I'm... I'm you know, it's very easy. Lori'sMusic.com is my website, and it's L-A-U-R-I-E-S Music.com. My Twitter is at Lori's Music. My Facebook is uh, Lori B.B. Lewis. We'll see you next it's week. It's Catherine Facebook. from Listen Local Radio. Moe's Guitars has proudly served the San Diego music community since 1975. Specializing in guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, and ukuleles, they buy, sell, trade, and consign. If you're looking for lessons, repairs, accessories, and cool gear, you found the right place. Located in downtown La Mesa Village, stop by and check out their digs or visit MoesGuitars.com or their Facebook page, M-O-Z-E-Guitars.com, 619-698-1185. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio, to sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. Hey guys, CS Keys here to introduce you to San Diego's number one health meal prep provider, Fresh and Fit Meals. With over 40 menu items to choose from, several pickup locations all over America's finest city, made and delivered fresh, never frozen. Save on time and money. Super convenient and improves the quality of your life. Just visit the website, freshandfitmeals.com, for all the menus and the pricing. Or give them a call at 858 805 5949 for more details. Remember, you are what you eat, so you might as well be fresh and fit with Fresh and Fit Meals. Take a break from politics. Tune in and learn something. WS Radio shows are worth your time and are filled with tips and advice. Add us to your lunch routine and we'll give you a meal for your mind. Do you want to be a professional coach? Are you in business trying to make a real difference with people you manage or work with? Have you started a coaching practice that isn't quite getting off the ground? Get the skills you need to be a successful coach today with the Coach's Training Program from Accomplishment Coaching. The Coach's Training Program will show you how to help others focus and be more fulfilled. Whether you want to improve your company's bottom line or create a thriving coaching practice, Accomplishment Coaching can give you the distinctions and practices you need to coach others effectively today. Accomplishment Coaching has spent six years developing a cutting-edge coaches training program that will have you ready to coach people professionally in just 12 months, and you don't have to take time off work to do it. To find out more about the coaches training program, just call 1-888-548-6813. That's 1-888-548-6813. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, VinVillage.com, where wine lovers connect. 
Be sure to tune in weekly to Vin Village Radio for exclusive, in-depth interviews with the who's who in wine and food. 